Welcome to part two of the kimono eye tutorial. If you didn't watch the first part, you're gonna have no idea what's going on. So I've got a link in the description, which will take you to the first video so you actually know what you're doing. I'm, I'm sorry I look different. I kind of forgot to make this transition when I originally edited the video. I've like even got a different haircut. This is, I am so prepared. Using a clean flat surface, take your uh, little, this part, and it's going to be a pain in the butt, but peel this part off, being very careful not to touch the part that is going to be seen. So you only want to touch the part that you are not going to see. And you're going to just press your eyepiece down right on top of it, making sure you're using the correct one. Just press that piece down on top of it, and then you'll notice that this part is super duper sticky. So you don't want that. And you're gonna need to make sure that you're using the correct piece because you don't want any of this to be sticky. And you're going to peel off your other piece's backing and you have to be very, very careful with this one's backing because you do not want a fingerprint showing up on your tinted part. And you really only get one chance at this. And there, you have a tinted eye. How cool is that? How easy is that? So just make sure that you press it down pretty well. And then you gotta cut out around the edges. Make sure none of that sticky part's showing. And you have a very rad tinted eye. Now you just gotta do the next one like this and then we'll get on to the rest of the tutorial. For this I shall be using tacky glue. Ah oh, yes. Gotta kinda nip the tip. Okay, so when you're applying your glue, you wanna be, you don't wanna get the edges like at all. And you've got your eye glued down. If you have any overlap at all, you can just kind of cut it, cut that part off with scissors. And now I'm going to do my other eye. Oh yeah. So while our eyeballs are drying, I decided I'm going to tell you a story. So, you know when you do someone's laundry and you usually get like some money out of it? Like, oh, I found some change in the wash. Awesome, just got paid. Well, I just did my brother's laundry and I didn't get paid, but I found an earplug a Fig Newton wrapper, a water bottle cap, and 37 cents in change. Thanks a lot, bro. Throughout this process, it's a good idea to just sort of put this base of the eye inside of your head and see how it works. Now, for this next step, you want to make sure that you have no overlap or else the eye will come off of the base and you do not want that. So you just, I mean, even if a little bit of white showing, that is not the end of the world. You just want to make sure that there is no overlap. and. Then you're gonna take your really cool white base thing and sort of start with the uh, more nice side out, I suppose. Well, there are two little dots on both sides. Okay. Oh yeah, crisis averted. And you wanna make sure that when you wrap it around, you are going this way. Good side out, or something like that. And I'm not going to be facing that towards you because I actually do need to see you while doing this. And you really want to make sure that, well, one, you have enough of this to go around your entire eye, because that would just be a catastrophe if you didn't. And also that you're not making hot glue show on the outside while doing this. I would suggest even doing like a test run. 
with uh, some not so good pieces just to know that you have the technique down. And then once you come to this little edge, you just want to cut off the excess and glue it all down, making sure you don't have any little gaps. And I'm pretty sure that is exactly what I said, like word for word on my cherry blossom video. And make sure you don't have any little corner bits showing. And then you have a fursuit eye. How cool is that? Also means that more often than not, you're paying for a very so. Now you have two little eyeball things just made, and right now, just to make sure that they're even and they look good, you can pop them inside your fursuit head. Wow, the vision's actually really good. That's sort of what you're going to be in for. Okay, this next part is going to be very important. This is going to get the plastic over the eye, and you could stop here, uh, just color this outside part black, and you'd have a very nice, natural-looking eyeball. But what we are going to do, or what I'm going to do, I suppose, I don't know if you're going to do it or not, um, I want this plastic stuff over it. Because I think that's the look that I've, that I've always wanted to go for. And the way we are going to achieve that, get my pencil up in here, is by, at first we're going to cut into this and we need a curve to this foamy part. And I just kind of want to mark on here like what I want the curve to look like. And this is going to make it so that when we put the plastic on top of it, the plastic is going to have curve with the eye. Because you could just use like a regular straight plastic and probably wind up with a very nice effect. But I love how on most kimono heads that I see, the plastic curves with the eye. And now you've got a curvature to it. You kind of want to make sure it's like about the same on both sides. And you want to make sure the top of it is nice and flat. Then you're going to take this plastic and I, right now, I'm trying to see if that's the effect that I want. And that looks exactly what I'm going for. So, you may notice that this plastic is very wiggly. But, what you can do to combat this is take a book and put it on top of the plastic and just leave it there. Leave it there for as long as it kind of needs to and sort of cherry pick the pieces that you think are the nicest. And I'm just going to cut that out. And see, we've got a nice straight piece of plastic. Very little bending going on. I'm like a mon over here. No bending. And I would suggest windexing this stuff. Because you never know where it's, gonna, where it's been. But I'm just going to rub it on my shirt. Because that totally gets things clean. And this stuff warps with heat. I'll just uh, show you a little example of that. This stuff does not do well with heat. See, like, if I were to bend this, it would keep that bent shape. So, you want to be very careful with the amount that you're gluing. And you'll notice that glue doesn't stick to it as well as you'd like it to. So I'm not going all the way around with it. I'm kind of just choosing a few spots, like where it's at its lowest point, where it's at its, high, its highest point. I'm kind of letting it dry for just a bit before making sure that it is stretched very well over the eye and holding it down. Then I'm going to glue all around the edges.
And then once you've hot glued all around the sides, just check for cracks and kind of fill them in with glue. And now you've got a securely attached little eyeball. Ain't that cute? Pull off all your hot glue strings because it's going to look pretty. Not very nice. And you gotta do the same thing to the other eye. I suggest taking your old pieces that you cut off the eye, placing them around, and then cutting off from there. Now then, once you have the two domes on, they're looking very nice. Uh, let me show you how to pop them in your head. So how you install the eyes inside of the head is you don't go in like this. You don't push them in. What you do is you go around the back and press the eye through that way. And that way, you're not sort of rip, you, you, ha, you don't kind of stand to rip off that domey part that you've spent so long creating. And that's how you put them in. But believe it or don't, the eye is not actually finished yet. There's a reason that you left about like a centimeter worth of a barrier inside of the eye because when you fur it, you don't want to see, when you fur it, you don't want to see this little white part. Your fur is going to completely cover that part up, like with this one. See, it's covered up all of the barrier, and to finish it off and make it look pretty, you want to take a piece of felt and draw out some eyelashes for it. both the bottom lash and a top lash for it. And that'll sort of just finish the eye for you. See? Something like that. And of course you want to do it around the curvature of the eye. And you just want to glue that on top of the fur so your eye gets a nice finished look. So all of you wonderful, amazing human beings who have stuck around to the end of the tutorial, this is what your eyeball should look like when they are installed in the head. These are not installed properly right now as this fursuit head still needs a better shave and it still needs a little bit of work. So the eyes are a bit crossed, but this is what they look like. That's what they look like. So again, these eyes aren't the most sturdy. Uh, the paper base uh, doesn't stay down sometimes. Like this is a uh, pair that I had a long time ago and you, as you can see the paper base did not stay attached so that was a bit of a fail. Uh, a way you can combat this is by putting a piece of clear vinyl or plastic over the eye before you put the uh, rim around it but that's just an issue that pops up with this version of the eyes. I've completely changed them so the ones that I make now are different but this tutorial is just out there to help people who really want to know how to make kimono eyes.